to celebrate not just an event but a journey of growth, learning and achievements. A very good morning to everyone. I, Master Vedan Kalapte and I, Ms. Terim Sheikh will take you throughout the event. As we set to start our day, let us bow our heads in prayer. I would like to call upon Mrs. Kunyam Yamma Vogis Ma'am for the opening prayer. Praises be unto the Lord for the unspeakable gift. Thank you Lord for this beautiful morning which you have enriched with the presence of all present over here. Lord, thank you for giving us a good night's sleep, giving us comfort and rest, healing to our bodies and minds so that we could be present over here to enjoy the events of the day. Lord, we commit this beautiful morning and the proceedings into your hands, Master. We know, Master, everything that belongs to each one of us, including our lives, belong to you because you are the Creator God, Father of all. The earth and its fullness, the world and its inhabitants, all belong to the earth, they all belong to the Lord, teaches the scripture. Master, when we see these little ones, we remember the last annual day throughout which your presence we felt and it was a blessing to all of us. And we commit this day, this day until the beginning, from the beginning till the end into your hands so that each word spoken over here will be for edification of everyone and will be in grace and for the glorification of your own name, Master. We commit each program into your hands. Bless each of them and bless all the hands and the bodies and the minds and the hearts of all those who work behind it, who toil for days together, their efforts and labor, Lord. Please honor them, bless them. We commit our children, each one of them, from the least to the senior most, into your hands. Thank you for the beautiful, talented children given to our school, given to us, Lord, in our care. Thank you for each one of them, even as the exams are coming. Give them good hearts and good brain and good memory to learn uh, properly and write the exams so that in the end they will say, thank you, Father. Thank you, God. All glory belongs to them. Be with them because they are the future citizens of India. Bless them, give them wisdom, give them vision so that they will grow up to glorify your name and to glorify that there is a God who is living God. We also commit the parents present over here into your hands. Uh, thank you, Lord, for uh, bringing them over here. Thank you for all the guidance and teaching they give to the uh, children. Thank you for each one of our teacher. Each one of our teachers, master, they are behind everything and, and they are the pillars of the school. They work hard, they work harder for the, teach, uh, for the children so that they win, they not only win their examinations, but then they are good winners in their lives to bless each one of them. We commit uh, all those who worked behind the curtain for today's program, the choreographers, uh, everyone, everyone, the mic system, everything. And finally, Lord, we commit the church, the trust that because of the church, the school is there. We pray for the church and the church members. We also commit our school into your hands. Lord, it is your school. We, when we celebrate this golden jubilee this year, be throughout with us, Master. All that, all that little things we do, bless each one of it so that they will turn out to be for your glory. Bless each of the project. We commit our Vikar and his family into your hands. Thank you for the leadership Achan give, gives us. Thank you for the uh, hard work Achan puts in. And thank you for everything, everything he does for the welfare of the school and the church. And finally, Masters, finally, Master God, we commit, we governing council into your hands, Lord. Lord, we are weak and we have nothing of our own to praise about, Master. You have brought us this far. We commit each one of us, including the office bearers, the secretary, the treasurer, the court treasurer, everyone into your hands. Bless each one of us in our future uh, journey also. We also commit the staff, the sub-staff, Everyone who saw over, including Tiwari, Sarika, our, our own Vedi Binu, everybody. And finally, Master, we also commit our chief guest today, 
who is the germ on the crown master. We commit uh, m m Mrs. Mini uh, Tini Binu in dear hands, Lord. Lord, we thank you for providing her presence over here. Thank you for the wisdom that you gave us to call over here. And thank you for being with her all through. Even as we, she speaks today, let the children hear wisdom and vision. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lifting our hands to you. Here we are, giving you thanks for all you do. And as we pray and worship your holy name. one and all present here. I am extremely privileged to have this opportunity to address you all at this important moment for celebrating the 25th year of our existence. Our annual day celebration is a reminder of the wonderful memories we have shared together. Let us come together to celebrate and cherish the memories we have created. We have tried to take you around with glimpse of changing time through our program today. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our school manager, Reverend George John, our dear Linny Kochamma, okay. Chief Guest, Mrs. Tini Binu, our Governing Council members, Mrs. Gracie John, Honorable Secretary,
Mr. Vergas George, Honorable Treasurer, Mr. K. K. Matthew, Joint Treasurer, Mr. Makesh Aip, Dr. P. C. Thomas, Mr. Thomas Matthew, Mrs. Sheila Abraham, Mr. Justin Abraham, our church secretary, Mrs. Mary Jacob and Mrs. Rajni Vergis, the treasurers of our trust. Our former headmistress, Mrs. Shirley Abraham. Mr. Stanley Matthew. Mrs. Kunyumma Vargas, our primary section HM, Mrs. Minnie Abraham, and the secondary section HM, Mrs. Anita Rajashekar. who have always been a pillar for us not forgetting our teaching and non teaching staff who took a lot of efforts and put the whole show mr binu and mr tiwari who support us as and when a need arises a wait great welcome to the pta members parents and students without their cooperation this function would not be a success pta members please stand so don't leave your seats enjoy every and each and every bit as we take you through the wonderful event let the show begin thank you teacher we are honored to have with us reverend george john our esteemed school manager who will share his insights and thoughts on our school's journey glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Good morning, <clears throat> respected Chief Guest, Mrs. Tini Binu, my parish member and family friend, an energetic governing council secretary, Mrs. Gracie John, Treasurer, Mr. Vargis George, Joint Treasurer. Mr. K. K. Matthew, an enthusiastic governing council members, HMs of the sections, former HMs of the school, parish office bearers, former governing council members, PTA members, teachers. students parents and parishioners today we are celebrating our annual day of holy angels marthoma school mulund our celebration is happening in our own premise because This year we are celebrating the silver jubilee of the school and the grand finale will be in the month of October 2024. Last year we had celebrated our annual day in Kalidasa Natya Mandir Mulund West. Our young talented children especially the secondary section conquered the stage of the kalidasa natya mandir and both sections performed in a 
പ്രൊഫഷണൽ വേ ലാസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഇയേഴ്സ് ദാനുവൽ ഡോ ഡേ ഓഫ് അവർ സ്കൂൾ സെലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് വേസ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ എ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോംസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ ഡ്യൂ ടു ദി പാൻഡമിക് ഓഫ് കൊറോണ വൈറസ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ത്രൂ ദ മീഡിയ വി വെയർ ഏബിൾ ടു എക്സിബിറ്റഡ് ദ ടാലൻസ് ഓഫ് അവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ second year it was celebrated in a professional way at kalidasa natya mandir this year we are celebrating in our own premise through this celebrations of 3 years we can analyze how much we can contribute more in a different manner with different situation the annual day celebration allows the school to celebrate another year of its being and appreciate the students achievements in all curricular co-curricular and extra curricular activities conducted throughout uh, throughout the year annual day is an important element of every school's calendar it is a time of celebration felicitation feasting and festivity the annual day is not just a gathering but it helps us the students to learn more important things like working together leadership and understand different cultures it is a time to reflect on the year's accomplish accomplishments and to look forward to the future john dewey one of the famous educationalist says that education is not preparation for life education is life itself i repeat education is not preparation for life education is life itself it is possible to move throughout the world without learning and gaining wisdom along the way the full form of education is e stands for energy d stands for discipline u stands for unity C stands for confident A stands for aim T stands for talent I stands for interest O stands for opportunity N stands for nationality The term education is derived from the Latin word educare meaning to bringing up means bringing up the children from the down to up so that he or she can stand in his or her own feet therefore education prepares the child to face the challenges of the living as a human being and helps him or her to achieve balance and harmony in all he or she does it is a process of preparation to everyone to achieve maturity education is a process of a pre- process of preparation to everyone to a- achieve maturity horace man is known as the father of education there are three types of education one formal education second informal education third non formal education first formal education second informal education third non formal education what is formal education formal learning usually takes place in the premise of the school where a person may learn basic academic or his or her trade skill informal education 
Education goes beyond what takes place within the four walls of the classroom. A child gets education from his experiences outside the school. Unlike the formal education, informal education not imparted by an institution such as school or college. Informal education not given according to any fixed timetable. Informal education consists of experiences and actual living in the family or the community. Third, non-formal education. Non-formal education is imparted consciously, deliberately, and systematically. It should be organized for a homogeneous group. Non-formal education should be programmed to serve the needs of the identified group. This will necessitate flexibility in the design of the curriculum and the scheme of evaluation. Our Holy Angels Marthama School is giving formal education to the students, those who are living in and around the vicinity of the school. We have an efficient governing council who is looking after all the administration of the school. The well-talented teachers are the assets of the school and they are doing wonderful works in these days. Both the HMs are giving proper guidance for the teaching and the non-teaching staffs. Our school is adopted new technology in the teaching field and staffs are well trained by the concerned people. Now we have a developed multi-story building and all the facilities of the school. Discipline is one of the important matters and at the same time each students are very important for us. Those students who are in weaker for their academic realm, we are providing remedial classes to them and a special consideration to them. Regular staff meeting, academical evaluation are doing properly and the governing council is discussing that reports in a detailed manner. Our parents are the strength of our school as well as PTA doing a very good job for the future of the school. If the government will introduce the National Education Policy, NEP, in the future, it is necessary that the school should adapt the new policy and do the preparation of the development of the infrastructure of the school by accommodating the new development. For this purpose, we need wholehearted cooperation, support of the parents, staffs, and the students. Here I am concluding my words with Martin Luther King Jr., an American Christian minister, activist, and political philosopher who was one of the most prominent leaders in the civil rights movement from 1955. He was said, let us not wallow in the valley of despair. I say to you today, my friends, and so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day in this nation will rise up and will live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream 
that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that one day even the that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racists with his governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls, our sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day Every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. And this is the faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jaggling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. My dear friends, I am adding here with this faith that our school will develop as a reputed institution in the future as we continue this growth in this vicinity. I'll repeat, with this faith that our school will develop a reputed institution in the future as we continue this growth in this vicinity and that will be benefited for these people who are sitting in front of me. This growth in this vicinity and that will be benefited for these people who are sitting in front of me. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. To provide us with a comprehensive overview of our achievement and progress, I invite Mrs. Gracie John Ma'am, our school secretary, to present the annual report. Happy is the man who finds wisdom and who occurs understanding. Proverb 3.13 Respected manager, Reverend George John, chief guest of the day, Mrs. Tini Binu, all governing council members, ex-governing council members, Lini Kochama, parishioners, headmistress, Mrs. Sanita Rajeshekhar and Mini, uh, Mrs. Mini Abraham, the former headmistress, Mrs. Shirley Abraham, all teaching and non-teaching staff, PTA members, parents, and my dear children, good morning to one and all. Annual report for, of the year 2023-24. We take immense pleasure and pride to present the 22nd annual report of Holy Angels Marthoma School, managed by Christos Marthoma Church, a charitable trust 
established in the year 1999. The school has classes up to 10 standard from nursery with a total strength of 504 students including 68 RTA students. Our school focuses on providing an authentic learning environment where students apply knowledge and skill from multiple choice so as to widen their knowledge. Academic achievements. Our 10th standard batch of SSC students achieved 100% result in the year 2022-23. Master Aryan Kadam scored 89.40 percentage and Sahil Ansari scored 87.60 percentage. Out of 36 students, we achieved 14 distinction, 14 first class, 5 second class, and 3 pass class. Master Vedan Kolpate from Standard 10 was awarded second prize in T Ward Elocution Competition held at Saraswati Vidya Mandir, Bandup West. Master Arun Sheikh from 7 Standard 1, first prize, and Dhruva Kadave from 5th st Standard, won consolation prize in storytelling competition held at Parak Vidyalai Bandhu West. Lakshmi Chaudhary of 7th Standard achieved second prize in fireless cooking competition and 10th standard students won third prize in group act on the topic Vision 2040, which was held at Seven Isles International School, Mulund East. Master Mridmai Gak ranked fifth position in 100 meters running race. In relay race, the team of boys under the age of 17, won third place at district sports organization level. Our junior and senior group students participated at district level National Children's Science Congress Research Project held at Krishna Menon English High School, Bandup East on 28 November 2023. Our senior group students, Ms. Varushka Naik and Ms. Ayushi Shukla from 9th Standard 1 Consolation Prize on the project Andy Root Sheet, which was prepared under the guidance of Ms. Gauri Kamble, the teacher in secondary section. Master Samrat Sudhir Parab from 5th Standard and Master Swaraj Bedkande from 8th Standard achieved scholarship in the examination held in the academic year 23-24. A total of 13 students from secondary section appeared in intermediate drawing grade examination held at IDUBS Hindi High School, Bandup West. Out of the total, four students scored A grade, Three students scored B grade and six students scored C grade. Students participated in various ward level competitions such as group dance, group singing, instruments, lazim, elocution, mono act, essay writing, handwriting, science exhibition, etc. Organized by Education Department Chambur. 35 students from primary and secondary participated May's drawing competition held at Lala Tulsi Ram Ground Mulund West on 14 January 2024. 
extra curricular activities cultural activities were conducted throughout the academic year to bring out healthy competitive spirit these competitions were handwriting essay writing mono act clay modeling drawing doll making best out of waste etc housewives group competitions held where rangoli decoration bucket making fireless cooking poster making patriotic song etc celebrations national festivals like independence day and republic day were celebrated with cultural programs to promote in national integration among students yoga day celebration was held on 21st july mahatma gandhi birth anniversary on 2nd october baba saheb ambedkar maha parinirvan din on 6th december national sports day on 29th august hindi divas on 14th september maharashtra day on 1st may were celebrated during the academic year 2023-24 the students council had taken oath on 3rd july 2023 honor society award function and investiture ceremony was held on the same day this award was given to students who scored 75% and above without failing in in any subject on secondary level picnic picnic for secondary section was conducted on 16th september at shiva ganga water park at panvel awareness program we have conducted various skill development programs to overcome the challenges of the time one tobacco free surrounding awareness program was conducted by ngo called hh foundation at tani second awareness workshop on prevention of child sexual abuse was kept for teachers and parents on 30th june 2023 by Ms. Janvi Thakkar from Heal NGO. Next, CBM training for our staff was held on 9th June 2023. Fourth, fire and safety training was held on 14th June 2023. Staff dedication was conducted by Reverend Joe John on 15th June 2023. next menstruation awareness program was conducted for girls of secondary section on 18th august by miss nehali from muse foundation mumbai branch teachers teachers orientation on mental health was held on 12th june by dr janvi joshi medical checkup medical health checkup camp for 3 days from 25th to 27th august 2023 was conducted for students of secondary section by the indian institute of technology bombay of uh, technology bombay which was at pawai i checkup camp was conducted by Swarachi Netralaya Mulund West for all the staff and students of primary and secondary section on 18th October 2023 sports this year our students participated in DSO level sports competition under 14 and 17 both girls and boys teams participated in coco kabaddi football athletic events 100 meters 200 meters running race relay race and chess competition annual sports meet of the year was held on 23rd december at vijay vallabh suri maidan mulund west 
counseling and guidance guidance for the weak students of 9th and 10th standard was conducted by reverend jo john on 3rd november 2023 accordingly as per the instruction of the manager special teaching was arranged every day from 12:30 pm to 1:30 pm for the weak students classroom guidance and special periodical staff meetings were taken by mrs gracy john the secretary guidance lecture was given by mr raji samuel the governing council member for the parents and students of 9th and 10th standard now pre primary section highlights of the year competitions like rakhi rakhi making sandwich making story telling mem story telling memory dia decoration lantern decoration coloring and drawing handwriting recitation and fancy dress were conducted seven rail school conducted inter school events wherein our students participated our junior kg student master tejas patil is hs enthusiast who is pursuing his training too regular activities and festivals were celebrated with much enthusiasm and interest sports day was held on 21st december races like educational games and skill based games were attempted along with other races like obstacle race hopping and running races picnic picnic to zeno center God Cooper was held on 5th October now primary section T ward in the school competitions story telling competition was held at St George school our first standard student miss Seema Sheikh won first prize drawing competition was held at St Mary's convent school master Arhan Ansari from first standard won third prize. Miss Ayat Sheikh from standard fourth won consolation prize for the expressive reading competition held in our school on 11th October 2023. A total of 19 schools participated and each participant received a bookmark with a message and hms received a small token of appreciation these students will be felicitated on t ward honors day on 16th february in our competitions like chart preparation patriotic song competition individual competitions like storytelling coloring and drawing handwriting recitation in english fancy dress handicraft using paper expressive reading competition marathi bal geet devotional singing and folk dance running relay dress up for school were held in this year occasionally from june to january our students enjoyed march drill related to the theme of silver jubilee celebration on 23rd december 2023 the annual sports day of our school this event in our school was a curtain raiser in the expressive reading competition conducted by the n ward s ward and t ward picnic Picnic was held on 30th September 2023 at Nehru Science Center, Zoo and Monorail. May's drawing competition was held at Lala Tulsi Ram Garden on 14th January 2024. Total of 35 students participated from primary and secondary sections. Mumbai Diocese. Schools were invited for a one-day faculty conclave at St. Thomas English Medium School, Surat, on 13 January 2024. 
total of five teachers and the manager, Reverend George John, attended the meeting. It was a delightful experience knowing that we were under the umbrella of many other schools from Mumbai Diocese. I would like to thank the manager and family, all governing council members, executive committee members of the parish, all parishioners, PTA members, and the staff of the school for their dedicated and committed continuous support for the school. No doubt, we have achieved some milestones and many still have to be achieved. We have come closer to another academic year. Pray to Almighty for his guidance and support to reach new heights in the forthcoming years. Thank you. May God bless us. Sir. A special moment awaits as Mrs. Minia Binu, who has graciously accepted our invitation. Good morning, everyone. It's been a long wait. First Peter 5, 5 says, All of you clothe yourselves with humility towards one another, because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a genuine pleasure to introduce a person of remarkable simplicity and humility. Her down-to-earth nature is what makes her noteworthy to all of us. Humility in a leader fosters a collaborative and open environment as there is a willingness to listen, learn and acknowledge the contributions of others. A school head embracing simplicity fosters clear communication. This leadership trait promotes an inclusive and harmonious educational environment. These two great qualities above others is what makes our chief guest, Mrs. Tini Binu, special and a deserving person to grace our annual day today. Parents and our incredible students, even good morning to Lini Kochama. <laughs> it's truly an honor to be the part of the ongoing celebration of the Silver Jubilee of Holy Angels Matoma School, especially on this annual day with the theme Disha. It is heartening to witness the milestone this school has taken over the past 25 years, shaping minds and fostering a community of learning. As we gather here in the spirit of celebration, let us take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey the school has undertaken over the past 25 years. The achievements that you have made, the challenges you have overcome, and the success you have achieved collectively showcase the resilience, teamwork, and the commitment that define you. Holy Angels Matoma School is not merely a place of education. It is a testament to the power of commitment and the potential that lies within each student. In reaching this Silver Jubilee, you have not only set a milestone, but also an example for others to follow. Today, I urge everyone present, students, teachers, parents, and even the support staff to recognize the role each one play in sustaining this legacy and contributing to the vibrant tapestry that is your school. Together, we can create an educational institution that is not only excels academic, but also instill values that shapes responsible citizens. To the beloved students, you are the torchbearer of this legacy. As you all celebrate 25 years, remember that you are not just the recipient of education. You are contributor to the collective vision. Let the Disha guide you in finding your directions and purpose, both academically and personally. Dear teachers, your role is shaping the future is immeasurable. You are the architect of students' future. Your dedication and passion is the pillar upon which the school stands. Your commitments shape minds, instill values, and pave the way for the brighter tomorrow. 
continue to be a guiding light empowering students to discover their own disha parents your support is invaluable your trust in school and active involvement in your school's education create and strong foundation for your success but not the least the support staff often the unsung hero your contribution is indispensable whenever it's maintaining the premises ensures the safe environment or providing essential service you are the backbone of the school i think after my talk the prize distribution is there but i would like to congratulate everyone so to all the awardees your achievements are not merely the accolades but a testament to your unwavering commitment and hard work your passion has not only elevated you but has also inspired those around you congratulations to one and all deserving recipients as you all embark on the new chapter of journey let's remember that being alive is not just about breathing it's being conscious engaged and appreciating the beauty of every moment may the silver jubilee mark a renewed commitment to the living fulfill and deeply learning deeply before i conclude i just wanted to tell the students if you don't discipline you in the school or college you have to pay a heavy price later in your life so discipline like coming to the school or wherever you go should be in a proper way writing properly talking properly communicating properly respecting elders even the teachers should be in a proper way this really helps a long way in your life you should remember that to be successful in your life there is no shortcut but the only method is hard work and straight way and that is you have to do students keep yourself away from mobile phones even requesting the parents see to it that your children are away from the mobile phones right now it's very easy to get all the information on the mobile phones but there are lot of things impacting and even disrupting their mental power the retention everything that you all might be right now you all might be aware of all these things so teachers might be saying all these things in the school but i think the parents from your side should take this initiative and even and even everyone is aware that mobile phone is a silent killer so excessive use of it is impacting the students a lot and instead of that why can't we think of our breath that we are taking nowadays i think no one is aware that really we are taking breath to live so we have to concentrate on our breath it is re as scientific language in scientific language inhaling oxygen and i think exhaling is what students exhaling what you excel carbon dioxide so but it is all thought in the book but there are many things inside our body many action and reaction is going on that means actually inhaling oxygen means inhaling the calmness and exhaling oxidized carbon dioxide means exhaling our stress so students at least even the parents all the students and the school community should take that initiative to take a deep breath at least for 5 minutes like you have to take a deep breath hold then release it out whenever the tension or stress appears just wait for 1 minute 2 minutes Uh, just do this process you will see that there, there is a drastic change you can you don't have to go and pay anywhere just sit at home meditate for 2 minutes 5 minutes that is missing right now so at least you take 5 minutes just uh, sense or feel what is that deep breath that you all are having depend on that rather than going to the doctor for uh, there are many medicines right now coming up but inhaling the oxygen that you are inhaling that produces lot of natural pain killers that will help you out that no one is real, uh, realizing it and no like no one is taking that initiative to depend on that breath that we are taking it so it's a request to the parents also and the
teachers as well as to the students at least in 24 hours at least 5 minutes you can meditate think about your breath take a deep breath in and then release it out do this two three times you can a, a drastic change you can find out so thank you for having me here and I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the entire school community on reaching this remarkable milestone. Let the pride in our school fuel commitment to supporting and nurturing it further. Your enthusiasm and dedication will undoubtedly contribute to the continued success of the school. Cheers to the forthcoming 25 years of continued success and impactful education. Thank you and let the celebration of life and learning continue. Thank you. Thank you ma'am for inspiring us. Deep Jyoti Brahm hai. Deepak kin Jyoti jagat ka palan karta hai. Hey Divya Deepak, mere sabhi baapu ko mita de. Divya Deepak, aapko namaskar. As we move forward, let us eliminate the path of knowledge and success by lighting the ceremonial lamp. May I request Reverend George John and all distinguished dignitaries to proceed the ceremony. It is indeed a blessed beginning. Now it's time to recognize and appreciate excellence. We have outstanding individuals among us. Let's give a round of applause to our achievers. I request the headmistress of secondary section, Madam Mrs. Anita Rajashekar, to continue with the prize distribution ceremony. Commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and He will establish your plan. Reverend George John, manager, Mrs. Tini Binu, esteemed chief guest, chief guest, Mrs. Gracie John, ma'am, school secretary, Mr. Vogish George, sir, treasurer, Mr. K.K. Matthew, joint treasurer, Lini Kochamma, all the respected esteemed governing council member, primary headmistress, Mini Abraham, Former ex headmistress Mrs. Sh Shirley Ma'am, teaching and non-teaching staff, dear students and parents, a very warm good morning to everyone. We gather here today to celebrate the academic excellence achieved during the academic year 2022-23 and acknowledge the outstanding performance of our students and various grades. I request Mrs. Gracie John, ma'am, to do the honor. In standard one, we upload Ms. Soleha Sheikh for achieving an impressive 89.7%. Mm -hmm. Moving on to standard standard two, Master Soham Parab excelled with a remarkable ninety three point seven percent, setting a high standard. In standard third, Master Abhiraj Katak Dond secure an impressive 
21% showcasing dedication and diligence. Standard 4, Master Muhammad Asar Sheikh achieved a notable 90.57%. Congratulations to Master Samarth Parav from Standard 5 for securing an admirable 87.5%. Thank you, ma'am. Now I request Mr. Work to case academic progress with a percentage of 85.49%. Standard 7 is represented by Master Rayan Siddiqui achieving a commendable 83.25%. Ms. Chaishri Gupta from Standard A demonstrated excellence with a percentage of 85.83%. In standard 9, Master Vedan Kolapate achieve a notable 82.34%. Everyone, please give them a round of applause. Thank you, sir. Well done, students. 100% attendance throughout the academic year. Let us appreciate their commitment and dedication. Now I request Mr. K.K. Matthews sir to do the honor. Ms. Trisha Yadav, Ms. Ketiki Paga, Mishra from Standard 3. Master Amit Chaudhary, Master Mujahid Kureshi and Miss Chaina Khan from Standard 4. from standard 7 Miksha Pujari and Ms. Soha Kuresi from Standard 9. Congratulations to all the students for their hard work and dedicated journey.
academic journey to celebrate the outstanding achievement of our, of our ssc subject toppers for the academic year 2022-2023 i will like to request reverend george john to do the honor in the domain of english let's upload the remarkable performance of Ms. Asta Salian securing an impressive 87 marks out of 100. <laughs> Moving on to Marathi, we congratulate Master Aryan Kadam for his ex exemplary score of 92 marks out of 100. spot is claimed by Ms. Ruya Sheikh with an impressive 91 marks. Now let's acknowledge the brilliance in mathematics exhibited by Ms. Sania Khan achieving an outstanding 96 marks. A special mention to Master R. N. Kadam for also excelling in science and technology with a commendable score of 95 marks. Social studies, we commend the effort of both Master Mohammed Sahil Ansari and Miss Sania Khan, both scoring 87 marks. <laughs> Miss Sania Khan. Not only are we celebrating individual achievement, but we are also honoring Master R. N. Kadam, who secured an overall percentage of 89.40% and Master Muhammad Sail Ansari with an impressive 87.6%. Sahil. Thank you, Achan. Furthermore, we take pride in felicitating our SSC topper and mathematics subject topper with a recurring interest endowment fund, a gesture in the memory of late Mr. Abraham Oman. I request Mrs. Sheila Abraham, ma'am, to do the honor. Master R. N. Kadam, SSC topper. Mathematics subject topper. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations to all the SSC toppers. Keep it up of our student in the recent T-Word competition in secondary section. 
I am thrilled to share that Master Vedan Kolpate from Standard 10 has secured the second prize in the English language allocation competition topic sustainability is the need of an hour. I request Mrs. Tini Binu ma'am to do the honor. Let's celebrate the victorious victories in the enchanting world of storytelling. A big round of applause for Ms. Shaima Sheikh from Standard 1, who claimed the first position. In the vibrant domain of drawing, we congratulate Master Arham Ansari from Standard 1 for securing the third place. Your artistic talent has brought pride to our school, Master Arham. Miss Ayaz Sheikh from Standard 4, your expressive reading skill have not gone unnoticed. Congratulations for securing 4th place. T Ward Honours Day will be going to conduct on 16 Feb. Our student will receive trophy on that day. So, we are acknowledging this student today. Please have a picture with our chief guest. Okay. I request Mrs. Mini Abraham ma'am also to join them. Children's Science Congress research project this year we participated at junior and senior level. All our Mumbai district schools are participating in this research project to get acknowledgement. Our senior group project Anti Roots Sheet received consolation prize. I request guide teacher Gauri Kamli, student from Standard 9, Ayushi Shukla and Varushka Naik to come forward and receive a certificate. Encouraging them, parents. I would like I would like to acknowledge our intermediate drawing grade exam 2023 students to come forward. Miss Jayshri Gupta. Master Chaitanya Shelar, Master Ayush Navle, come forward. Master Swaraj Bhatkande, they receive A grade in intermediate exam. Miss Alia Shah, Miss Avantika Vichare and Aditi Dube pass with a B grade. All the students, please come forward. Master Musati Kansari, Master Jay Pawar, Master Ganesh Shinoy. Ms. Tia Halwai and Ms. Shreya Gavade, Ms. Varushka Nai clear the exam with the C grade. Congratulations, student. Thank you, students. Throughout the year, academic year, our students participated in various individual and group competition. Housewise points will be added at the end. The house points of secondary section for the year 2023-24 are Eden House 323 points, Sharon House 323 points. Both the houses are competing with the same points. Tower House, the leading Tower House leading with the point 380, and Bethel House with highest leading point 394, becoming a champion house of the year. I request Mrs. Bini, uh, Dini Binu ma'am to give the trophies to the achievers. Runner of House Tower, Mrs. Choti Pennekar, House Mistress, and Shrawni Kodak, 
house captain kindly come forward and receive a trophy runner up trophy congratulations to runner up house and participant students A champion house is Bethel House, house mistress Gauri Kamli and house captain Bezalel Anthony. Anthony, please come forward to receive the trophy. Okay, so Bezalel is not, uh, Vedan can join, teacher, please. Vedan is a school captain. Also to join, Desi ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. In primary section, the points are Sharon House 140 points, Bethel House 200 points, and. A runner up house is Eden House with point 211. House mistress Alarine Pereira and house captain, please come forward. Ashtavinayak Mishra. I request uh, Reverend Father George John to come and uh, felicitate the champions. With leading points of 228 points. House mistress Nasima Khan and house captain Miss Preeti Matre. In absence of Mrs. Nasima Khan, I request headmistress Mini Abraham Ma'am to receive the trophy on behalf of Tabar House. for their dedication and hard work throughout the year. A special mention for our uh, two students from secondary section. They achieve Maharashtra Government Scholarship. Master Swaraj Bhatkande in Standard A. Uh, Master Bat Swaraj Bhatkande from Standard 8. And Master Samad Parab in Standard 5. They got scholarship in Standard 5 and 8. Congratulations students. Thank you, Father. Thank you, everyone. Let's continue to inspire and nurture excellence in education. Once again, thank you, everyone. Get ready to be entertained. We have a lineup of incredible performances ranging from dance, music, drama, and more. So sit back, relax, and let the magic be unfold before your eyes. Here is the day. We must welcome it with the song. Now, now I call upon the students of secondary section to present a welcome song.
if we are to leave a legacy of beauty and life for the future. Trip, drop, trip, drop. This clock must be stopped. Now I would like to call upon the students of secondary section to perform a skit on safe water. चमक रही है आज पाइप से कार तुम धोते हो क्यों पाइप से कार तुम धोते हो फिर तुम पानी के लिए ही रोते हो अरे भाई मेरी मर्जी मैं किसी से भी धो आपको क्या है इन्हें देखिए नल खोलकर ब्रश करते पूछो तो कहते क्यों ना करें हम तो पानी का बिल भरते हैं अरे बहन चैन से बरस भी करने दे दो ठंडे ठंडे पानी से नहाना चाहिए गाना आए ना आए गाना चाहिए शावर चला के नहाते हैं हम पानी की बर्बादी इन्हें क्या गम अरे भाई अधिकता नहीं मैं नहा रहा हूँ वाह हरी हरी सब्जी सिंक में सब्जी धोते हैं हम पानी साफ बहता रहे हमें क्या गम अरे बहन देरी हो रही खाना बनाने दो क्या करे क्या करे उपाय बताओ उपाय बताओ क्या करे क्या करे उपाय बताओ उपाय बताओ क्या करे आखिर हम क्या करे हम सब शहर उठे है डर से डरो नहीं अभी देर नहीं हुई है चलो करे शुरुआत अपने ही घर से गाड़ी धोनी हो तो बाल्टी का करो प्रयोग गाड़ी धोनी हो तो बाल्टी का करो प्रयोग शावर चला कर नहाना भी है पानी का दुरुपयोग ब्रश करते समय नल को कर दो बंद ब्रश करते समय नल को कर दो बंद और सब्जियां धोनी हो तो टोकरी का करो प्रबंध कुछ काम न करो बहते जल से कुछ काम न करो बहते जल से कुछ तो रहम करो आने वाले कल पे अरे कुछ तो रहम करो आने वाले कल पे लीकेज ठीक करने की जिम्मेदारी ले अपने बल पर रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग को अपनाना है रियूज रिसाइकलिंग कर पानी बचाना है पानी बचाना है और इन पंक्तियों को सार्थक बनाना है कौन सी पंक्तियाँ पानी बचाओ देश बचाओ 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 धन्यवाद ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन वेन वी यर अबाउट द साउथ द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स टू आर माइंड इज द थलाइवा किंग मिस्टर रजनीकांत टुडे लेट्स वेटनेस सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ हु आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म on some of the recent hits of south Good day. 
నాకు తట్టలేదు గాని అమ్మో ఈ లవ్ అనేది బబ్లు గమ్ము అంటుకున్నదంటే పోదు నమ్ము ముందు నుంచి ఎంతదన్న మాటే గాని మళ్ళీ అంటన్నానే అమ్ము ఇది చెప్పకుండా వచ్చేటమ్ము ఏమ నా పని ఉన్నాను నమ్ము
true. A flag does not fly because the wind moves it. It flies with the last breath of each soldier who died protecting it. A farmer is a magician who produces mud money from the mud. And a teacher encourages minds to think, hands to create and hearts to love. Teaching is the profession that teaches all the other professions. They are the pillars of truth, the pillars of freedom. Yes, they are the pillars of society. Now, I would like to ca call upon the students of secondary section to perform a dance on the theme of pillars of society. बारिश नहीं हुई
ताई घर ताई कोने देशी ने ओ कोने गाबी ने ओ संग तुझे मना न ताई घर ताई कोने देशी ने ओ कोने गाबी ने ओ संग तुझे मना न ताई घर ताई
Passed on to us by our elders. Experiences we inculcate and hardly negate. But to bridge the generation gap, one needs to adapt to the new while retaining the goodness of old. I would like to call upon the students of primary section for a dance performance. सोशल मीडिया ये शब्द सुनकर आज लोगों के मन में काफी नेगेटिव थॉट्स आते हैं कि इसे इस्तेमाल करके लोग समय की बर्बादी किए जा रहे हैं और उन्हें इस बात का को कोई एहसास ही नहीं कोई फॉलोवर्स ना बढ़ने के गम में हाथ काट रहा है तो कोई व्यूज ना मिलने की वजह से डिप्रेशन में जा रहे हैं मगर इन सब की शुरुआत इतनी बुरी भी नहीं हुई थी कुछ अलग अंदाज में ही हुई थी बात बन गई इश्क मजहब इश्क मेरी साथ बन गई सपने तेरी चाहतों के सपने तेरी चाहतों के देखता हूँ अब कई दिन है सोना और चांदी रात बन गई ओ, ओ तुम जो आए जिंदगी में बात बन गई फिर आया सबसे सुविधाजनक मीडिया वो था YouTube, जो लोगों की हर मुश्किल का हल देने लगा यहाँ सबको अपना जीवन सफल लगने लगा मम्मी को चाहिए पनीर की सब्जी कैसे बनाए पापा को जानना है कि स्टॉक में पैसे लगाए बच्चों को चाहिए कोई तो कार्टून चैनल लगाए यंगस्टर्स का गोल है पैसे कैसे कमाए पैसे कैसे कमाए पैसे कैसे कमाए, पैसे कैसे कमाए? 
ऐसे कैसे कमा चिंतित ना हो अब तुम्हें दुखी होने की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं मैं तुम्हारे दुखों का निवारण लेके आया हूं culture punjab for its energy and kashmir with snow peaks now i would like to call upon the students of secondary section to perform a dance on national integration
थोड़ी सी धोखने वाली दग 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 सा चिन्ह हो जुनू जुनू हो बूंदे लाल लहू की ये सब तू मिला मिला ले फिर रंग तू खिला खिला ले ये सब तू मिला मिला ले फिर रंग तू खिला खिला ले और मोह तू रंग दे पसंदी यार मोह तू रंग दे पसंदी मोह 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 मोह तू रंग दे पसंदी I would like to admit my thoughts. A good event never ends. In a world, they take only a pause and keep us waiting for the next. I request our pre-primary teacher, Mrs. Janvi Durgani, to come forward and present a vote of thanks. All, I deem it a great honor and privilege to the vote of thanks on this wonderful occasion. Let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making today's occasion successful. First and foremost, we thank our school manager, Reverend George John, for his words of encouragement, his able guidance, continue to encourage us and also for his interest and continued support. We thank our governing council members for their support and commitment. Our gratitude to the managing committee member of our Christo Martoma Trust. I would like to thank our chief guest, Ms. Bini Tinu, who honored this function with his inspirational words. A special mention to our respected headmistresses, Mrs. Anita Raj Shekhar of secondary section and Ms. Mini Abraham of primary and pre-primary section for being the catalyst of all of us to do our best and standing as pillar of energy. With a deep sense of appreciation, we thank our loving teachers for their untiring effort. Next, my sincere thanks to our PTA members, church parishioners and well-wishers for their support and cooperation. On behalf of our school, 
we also say thank you to our parents for their support and having faith in us. I would like to thank Mr. Binu, Mr. Tiwari, stage arrangement providers, photographer and the sound system team who work behind the scene to make this event happen so seamlessly. I would also like to thank our non-teaching staff for their help making necessary arrangements for the program. Last but not the least, I would like to thank our blooming stars that made this event joyous with their impactful performance. Once again, a big thank you to each one of you who made this occasion a celebration for all of us. Thank you. This is the time of closing our program today. I appreciate all the hard works done by the students and the teachers for this annual program. Our chief guest, Mrs. Tini Binu, reminded us that teachers are the architect of the students. Second, Parents are the builders of the life of the students. And the students itself are the body, body of the building. So I once again, on, on behalf of the Holy Angels Marthoma School, giving my sincere thanks to our chief guest, Mrs. Timmy Bino. Give, him, give her a big applause. And the, today's program conducted by two HMs and the teachers of the school and non-teaching staffs and the security staff of the school under the guidance of our secretary, Mrs. Gracie John. On behalf of the Holy Angels Marthoma School, I extend my sincere thanks to them. I would like to thank all the budding young talented students, those who are performed today morning from till the time. Primary students performed a prayer dance. Secondary students performed welcome song. Pre-primary students performed dance retro. Secondary students had performed a wonderful thematic skit, Save Water. Primary students, South Mix Aviel, performed dance. Secondary students performed Pillars of Society dance. Primary students performed another dance. And the last secondary students, National Integration, performed a very good dance today morning. In that dance, moreover, so many states are implemented through their program and the dance. On behalf of the Christos Holy Angels Marthoma School, I extend my sincere thanks to the children, those who performed all the dance from today morning till the time. Give them a big applause. <laughs> this year we have a peculiarity of this annual day because our teachers are taught all the dances. Last time we hired a choreographer and we had a practice session over here in this premise. But this time our teachers done a very good job. When I appointed the teachers, that time I itself asked them to how you have to do all these things in the school. Because not only the teaching, but also you have to do all these things, extracurricular activities, and learn students all these things. Therefore, they are very much punctual and did a very good job for on behalf of Holy Angels Martha Ma School. May God bless you. May God guide you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Father, now I will request Miss Sandhya Nada teacher for the closing prayer. 
Let us join our hands and close our eyes. Bow our head down to show our gratitude towards the Lord Almighty for the showers of blessings that he has given us this day. Thank you, O Lord, for making us accomplish this auspicious event with your presence among us. Having come to the end of our annual day program, we thank you for the excellent opportunity you have granted us to be together. Lord, fill us with your wisdom and your compassion for others. May you bless us with your never-ending love. Just as we begin the day with you, we end with you. We thank you for the making this ceremony a successful one. Continue to protect and keep us under your strength. Preserve us, O Lord, to be humble and kind heart from within. Be our guide through our lives and preserve us upon each time that we meet here again. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the grace, peace and the abiding presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all dearly beloved now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.